will fight to the last man. We have to. We must hold out until an opening presents itself. are a match for mine. Lord, and you'll pay! Out of my sight, vermin! I have no time for the likes of you! At last, Delta! Your head is mine! I'm afraid my head is too valuable to give to an animal like you. You encourage us all, but we won't fall behind in the race for glory. This has been averted. Shu Chu, it is time to attack. Our target is Tao Qian. You believe your wits are a match for mine? I've lost count already. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see! How many was there? I've lost count already! A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land.
to watch your back. Then die. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. How many was there? I've lost count already. Fight me now! For glory! Retreat! This is not the end! How many was there? I've lost count already! I must retreat! This is not the end! You encourage us all, but we won't fall behind in the race for glory. Forces have been spotted. Liu Bei? Why would he get himself involved? You believe your wits are a match for mine? We can lodge rocks with this thing, right? Perhaps we could break down the castle gates. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. I just want to go home and rest. What's the matter with you? You should be savoring every minute of this. I must keep Lord Tao Chien safe, or I will bring shame upon myself. Forward! My sense of honor dictates that you must die. Already. 
guess I need to pick up the pace. Yes! Victory is ours! Cao Cao defeated Tao Qian and forced even the mighty Lu Bu to retreat. He now possessed a sizable territory, capable officers, and a well-trained army. Indeed, the hero of chaos had taken the first steps towards seizing the land. As if to celebrate his accomplishments, a tremendous opportunity appeared before Cao Cao. The emperor had fled the ruins of the capital of Chang'an. Cao Cao took the emperor under his protection and headed for his base at Xuzhang. Thus, he became more than a mere warlord, something much more formidable. Our lord has the emperor under his thumb, yet he makes no move. And the first thing he does is give land to the peasants? Lord Cao Cao has given fields to me and the men of Qing province. Well, I'm sure our lord will remember to collect his taxes. He's using the old carrot and stick to keep them all firmly in line. He seeks a land where everyone will know the value of hard work, you mean. So, that's what our lord wants after the war, you think? <laughs> Dian Wei, I think you know him better than anyone these days. You mean, we're making a land where every man has to feed himself? Yeah! Then... You need to learn how to plow a field, too. I'll teach you. Uh, yeah, some other time. Yeah, everyone has to pitch in. Come on. But, but I'm a... I'm a warrior! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Put your back into it! <laughs> With the Emperor under his control, Cao Cao sent a clear message of his intent to rule the land. However, Many battles yet stood between him and total domination. In Hebei, Yuan Shao had gathered a massive army to further his own ambitions. Additionally, Yuan Shu had obtained the legendary Imperial Seal and used its authority to declare himself emperor. These two powerful opponents bided their time, waiting for an opportunity to strike against Cao Cao. Furthermore, numerous warlords began circling the Emperor like a pack of hungry wolves waiting to pounce. It was then that Cao Cao found himself embroiled in a heated battle. His opponent was Zhang Xiao, who hailed from the land of Wan. With a mighty Dian Wei on his side, Cao Cao was confident of his advantage going into battle. Say. Take out the commander and the rest would fall. But with that warrior by his side. <sighs> There's nothing more we can do. You? You would abandon me? Well, if it truly bothers you, I suppose you could always surrender. What? Oh, yes. If you are going to surrender, make sure you do it humbly. <laughs>
I am relieved my surrender was accepted. You have my gratitude, my lord. This is a modest little banquet we're having, but you're welcome to join us. <laughs>